Divine Mercy Novena, day two. Friends, thank you for joining us for this mm -hmm. second day. We have a special group of people that we are praying for today. Today, bring to me the souls of priests and religious and immerse them in my unfathomable mercy. It was they who gave me strength to endure my bitter passion. Through them, as through channels, my mercy flows out upon mankind. Tell me your thoughts. Well, I just, I think that's so beautiful. Through them, my, my mercy flows out through them. It's so true. You know, without the priesthood, we could never have the Eucharist. We could never have the sacrament of forgiveness, even the anointing of the sick. Like, they are irreplaceable, the priests. They Their hands are sacred. Yeah, I think about who the world considers the most powerful person in the world. Mm -hmm. And of course, right away, sometimes we jump to, well, the president of the United States, and he's got those nuclear codes. But really, the most powerful person in the world is a priest. Mm -hmm. Because only a, a priest can turn a sinner into a saint. Mm -hmm. Only a priest, through the ministry of the priesthood, can absolve an eternal weight of sin. Mm -hmm. That's right. I just think about the sacrament of the anointing of the sick, or even the sacrament of baptism, how these are so important in terms of salvation. And let's think about the sacrament of confession. What did Jesus reveal to St. Faustina regarding this? When you approach the confessional, know this, that I myself am waiting there for you. I am only hidden by the priest, but I myself act in your soul. Here the misery of the soul meets the God of mercy. Tell souls that from this fount of mercy, Souls draw graces solely with the vessel of trust. So when you are in the sacrament of confession and you hear those words, I absolve you from your sin, and you begin to hear that prayer from the priest, it's just not the priest speaking. He is in persona Christi, mm -hmm. meaning that Jesus is speaking through him. Mm -hmm. You are hearing the words of Jesus, mm -hmm. and the love of God is coming upon you. Mm -hmm. Indeed, a channel of great grace. Now think about the Eucharist. St. Faustina has a very interesting story. A moment before the elevation, the priest vanished from my sight, and Jesus alone remained. When the moment of the elevation approached, Jesus took the host and the chalice in his little hands and raised them together, looking up to heaven. And a moment later, I again saw my confessor. I asked the child Jesus where the priest had been during the time I had not seen him. Jesus answered, in my heart. We have to remember that when the priest is elevating that host, once again, he's in persona Christi. Mm -hmm. Jesus is working through the priest. Now, some might think that story and think, wow, could that really happen? I've spoken to a priest who witnessed this very thing before his eyes. He was in the seminary and he was at mass and he looked up at the consecration and the priest before him at the elevation disappeared. And there in his place, stood Jesus. What's so remarkable about the story that the priest, and later became a priest, he related to me that he couldn't believe what he saw and he was looking around, is, is anyone else seeing what I'm seeing? After the consecration, the priest appeared, Jesus disappeared, and after mass, he went and talked to another seminarian who he thought was the most holiest seminarian of all the other ones there. And he knocked on the door, the guy opened up and he said, you saw him too, didn't you? They both saw the same thing. At the consecration, the priest vanished. Jesus was there offering the holy sacrifice to God the Father. Friends, this happens every time at Mass. But our eyes are veiled to the truth before us. Mm -hmm. So we got to pray for our priests mm -hmm. and religious. They are vessels channels of mm -hmm. great grace for our salvation. And you just have to look in the world to see their numbers are decimated. Mm. Vocations are down. And we need to pray for our priests that they would have boldness, not only to give us the sacraments, but to boldly proclaim the truth because mm -hmm. the world needs to hear the truth. But not only do they need to boldly proclaim it, they need anointing. To priests who proclaim and extol my mercy, I will give wondrous power. I will anoint their words and touch the hearts of those to whom they will speak. It's just not words that move people's hearts. It's the anointing of God. Mm -hmm. And this is what we pray for for our priests, that God would anoint them in a powerful way to win souls to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your priest needs your prayers. Actually, I was just thinking about that. I was remembering when I was about 18 or 19 years old. A parish priest said to me once, he said, you know, a priest is only really as strong as the prayers of his 
perish. And I think it's true. Like we have a responsibility and a duty to pray for our priests because they need our protection. So how much time have you spent complaining about your priest versus praying for your priest? Your priest needs your prayers. Mm -hmm. I think we can also forget about the religious sisters. I had an aunt who was a redemptor sister. And then even just in our own city, there's been different uh, religious orders, though there are not very many sisters that we see on a regular basis, which, you know, is sad. Like, I feel like um, in other times, the sisters were just part of the culture. A lot of, you know, what we have today is because of the sisters who came here, whether it was the hospitals or the schools. They were very instrumental in the area that we live in. Absolutely. So friends, let's mm -hmm. pray for the religious and the priest. Uh, we will put a link right up there to say the Divine Chaplet. Please share this video with mm. those who you think would be blessed and comment below. Let us know what stood out to you and why. Yeah, or let us know if there was a priest or a religious sister that impacted your life. I would love to know. And how? That would, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. Please share. Mm -hmm. We'll see you tomorrow.